I'm now going to continue my video series on elementary mathematics with a fourth grade common core math problem and here it is. Okay, And I know there are many parents out there who will agree with me when, when I go ahead and say that I've never really seen something like this in real life. And you're talking to a guy who has just covered ten whole books of Euclid elements. Now, if this was a real-life problem, I would have discovered this by now. Maybe I'm just blind, I don't know. But anyway, I think there are a lot of parents out there that will say this is not real life. So we're going to need some translation here. Okay. So the problem really goes like this. It says 10 times 3 tens equals something tens equals something. Okay. So the first thing these people want you to do is they want you to draw this graph. And you have ones here, tens here, hundreds here, and thousands there. Okay. Then they want you to write this out as like an English sentence. They're going to actually have you turn this into a word problem. Heaven help us. Okay. Now, how do you translate this into a common English word problem? Well, this translates into ten times as many as. Okay, so when you see this, you will say it like this. Now, you say, well, what if it says five times? Okay, let's say it says five times. Then instead of saying ten times as many as, you would say five times as many as. If this was a 3, you'd say 3 times as many as. If this was a 7, you'd say 7 times as many as. You get the idea? All you'd do is change this word from 10 to 7 to 5 to whatever you wanted to change it to. Okay. Now, how do you turn this into something English? Well, 3 tens. Okay. If this said 3 fives, you'd write down 3 fives so on and so forth. This equal sign right here translates into this word is. Anytime you see equal, it becomes is. That's their way of thinking. Okay. So how are we going to figure this out? Well, first of all, we have to represent the three tens. Now, how are we going to do that? All right. I want you to imagine three fabric sacks. Okay. Because in the old days, like what I used to be in, yeah, that just shows my age. When you used to buy marbles, they used to come in little sacks. Okay, these were fabric sacks that they came in. So imagine having a fabric sack full of ten marbles. Okay, you've got a fabric sack that has ten marbles in it. We're going to represent that fabric sack with a circle. Now that's one ten. We're now going to have three bags, and every one of those bags is going to have ten marbles in it. We have just successfully represented the three bags of marbles with these three circles right here. Now the problem really states that we have ten times three tens. Now how do they want you to represent the ten times? Well. Now we're going to say that instead of having three bags, we're going to have 30 bags. So here comes the rest of the bags. There's 10 of your bags. There's 20 of your bags. And there's 30 of your bags. Now, just like the cable company, they want you to bundle your bags. We can do that. So we're now going to get three bowls. Okay? Three plastic bowls. And we're going to put ten bags into one of the three bowls. Then we're going to put another ten bags into another one of the bowls. And we're going to do the exact same thing with these ten bags. We're going to put these in the remaining bowl. Okay. 
So now, instead of representing bags, we're going to start representing bowls. Now, if you keep using circles, you might get confused. So we're not going to use circles anymore. We're going to use squares. And those squares are going to represent the bowls that we just put all the bags of marbles into. So here's bowl number one. And this bowl represents this right here. Okay, remember we bundled all this into a black plastic bowl, so that square represents that bowl. And then we're going to represent here, this, whoa. I know that's a funky looking square, but we're going to call that a square. And this square represents this bundle here. And now we're going to make a third square, hopefully a little neater. And this square is going to represent this bundle, or the bowl. Okay? So now we have three bowls, and each one of these bowls contains ten bags of marbles. Are we getting this so far? I think so. So, ten times as many, okay, sorry, ten times as many as three tens is thirty tens. Whoops. I'm terrible at writing here. Okay. So now we have 30 tens. Now. Do we want to write that down as 30 tens, or can we write it down as something a little simpler? Well, of course we can write it as something a little simpler. How about this? Ah. Uh, it's been a long time since I've written in in lowercase letters, but okay. So now we have 30 tens or 3 hundreds. So now, instead of having that 30 tens down there, we're going to change this around. Take that out. Now we're going to write down Whoops. Hold on. And that's the final answer they want you to give. So 10 times as, okay, let me say this again, 10 times as many as 3 tens as 3 hundreds. And they want you to write this out as, a, as an ordinary English sentence. And that's your answer. And they want you to display all of this. Now, you say, well, wait a minute. What have we really even solved here? Well, let me show you what we've really solved here. You're not going to believe it. You're about to find out what you just really solved. So all this mess that you just saw, for us, would be this. All that mess represents this. Does that look more familiar to you? Of course it does. This is a more realistic math problem. This is something you actually will see in the real world. Hmm. All right. What do you think about that? I would love to see your comments. Leave your comments down here below and tell me what you think of that awful mess you just saw. I'd love to know your honest opinion. I'd also like to know if you're still having troubles deciphering that horrible mess we just went through. Because if I have to, I'll make another video and I'll help you out some more. If any of you out there, and I'm begging you to do this, if any of you out there 
have gotten Common Core homework that you don't understand or comprehend, I want you to send it to me. You can send it through my Instagram. You can send it through my YouTube. You can make a video about it. You can let me see it, and I will happily translate it out for you. Um, if you request it, I will give you my Gmail account. Okay? So, what, whatever it is, you let me know. You can even find my... I have a Speed Learner fan page on Facebook. And if you want to post your math problems there, I'll happily take a look at them. Okay? So whatever it is that you want to do in line of showing me these kind of math problems, you do it, and I'll do my best to solve them for you. All right. I will tell you more in a future video, so I want you to stay tuned.